So what does it mean when it said there's a falling away of a falling away of the ego? Look at it like this. You walk into your living room and out of the corner of your eye, you think you see a person standing there. Fear shoots up your body, the shock hits you, you look, and then you recognize there wasn't a person standing there. It was just a shadow from the coat rack in the corner. The first falling away is recognizing that that wasn't a person in the corner. It's just a shadow. The second falling away is to recognize that there was never, ever a person there in the first place. To even be falling away right? So there was never a person in the corner in the first place to be disappearing. It's the same with the ego. In the first part of the process, you're recognizing that the ego is just not so in that way. So to this individual, you would assume you're getting rid of something. But the second falling away of that is to recognize that that device never existed in the first place. It was just an illusion. So there's nothing, indeed, ever falling away. Your being was always this openness, this wholeness, this awareness. And you got in the way of yourself by assuming that you were separate from the whole. So lack and fear from that illusion would arise. This kind of need to go outward and attain something to feel whole again. That is ego the deep illusion that you are separate from the whole and that I need that to attain fulfillment. And on another note, the ego will also try to fool you into thinking, well, if there is this disappearance of the sense of self, how are you going to operate? But it's not the ego itself that is responsible for the awareness of the body and the operation. It is awareness itself that is aware. Hence, you can act in compassion, you can act in passion, you can act in ego. The ego itself is not the motivator of motion. It's just being a point of awareness. If you're an illusion of self, your action is going to be an ego. It's going to be false in a sense. That's why there's going to be suffering usually on the end of that. And to act in wholeness is to act from a point of awareness. Instead of just kind of a reaction, you're more of a response. So it's not that you don't have a self, it's that your eye is awareness, and awareness is the whole, limitless. You already have everything. 